<laughs> and then get like five stocks. <laughs> All right. Say this is how it's done. Oh, boom, Kirby. No, Link, do it. Oh, Link, do it. that'll be. This is, Bark, I think Bark definitely win that. Boom's, <laughs> Boom's Lincoln team is really good though. More Falcon. All right, all right. I mean, Tacos beat Bark with DK. Boom could, might be able to go DK. That would be pretty cool. That would I be cool. Boom go DK. Did you did you see any of the the, the highlights from? New Jersey last week? No. Uh, there was a bunch of Tacos DK. I saw some Tacos Falcon, but uh, I didn't see any Tacos DK. All right, Pika Falcon. Easiest matchup in the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yep, that's uh, it, that's, it, it sucks when you get that grab on the very edge like that. Against Pika, you just can't do anything. So that's why he had to, he had to go with the back throw. Oh. Yeah, he knew Bark was going to drop off. Puts that up air out there early. Yeah, the down air was a little too early. It didn't connect. Whoa. Whoa. Up and around and over the down tilt and into his loving arms. Yep. The hug is strong with this tug. <laughs> Uh-oh. I love the way he boom uses that up tilt against recovering Kirby. Oh, yeah. Choose. Yeah, Wispy didn't do Boom any favors there. He wasn't able to get the full, uh, the full standard. And Bark, that's something he does so well. He forces these Falcons to go low. And then just edge hogs. Boom just doesn't even care. Just burns his double jump right there. Out right on the edge, gets hit, somehow makes it back. Oh. oh I love doing that. Yeah. Someone's trying to run in and grab you, you just throw out the one jab, and it stops them like dead in their tracks. And you just grab them back. Yeah, because it was pretty good spacing from Bark, too, and boom, just a little better to put out that jab. Let's see how Bark handles this edge guard. Oh, <laughs> right around him. <gasps> boom did not realize he grabbed the ledge. Yeah. <laughs> he went to he went to fastball because he thought he was dead, but he grabbed the ledge. And that's a, tr uh, a hit that Boom is willing to take. Yeah, he actually, he intentionally takes hits like that. Yeah. Um, you'll see him crouching on top platforms against Falcons at 0%, just waiting for them to up air him, and he just up smashes them. <laughs> like, there, there are definitely hits you can take on purpose, and that's one of them. Bark with a really cool uh, recovery for a nice sweet spot over and then a downward angle. And just like that, it goes from three stocks apiece to Bark on his last stock in game one here. Bark having a really hard time at guarding Boom. Yeah, I mean, but... Jeez! Boom. Yeah, but it's still Falcon. Like, oh, man. And Boom's getting back, like, a different way every time. Finishes off with the up B. Yeah. And a down air. <laughs> So, boom, two games away from taking this, uh, as expected. Do you, know where, do you know where my Mario Party 2, like, who took that last night? Is your oh, I didn't touch it. <laughs> We're being asked about Mario Party 2. I, I assume you guys had some kind of Mario Party fest? Yeah, we, um, we just, me, Boom, Fire Blaster, and Bark just played a ton of Mario Party 2. Like, Hexagon Heat, mostly. And then, like... Some fillet relay. Mostly Hexagon Heat, though. And then we played it where you cover up the flag. Like you put a little, like, a shirt over the flag so you didn't know what color it was until the platform started moving. That was kind of fun. <laughs> nice. Making Steve. your own little mini games. Yeah. Well, it just it makes it, it makes it so much crazier. One. I thought Bark was going to be able to land a hit there. Boom's timing on things like... Uh, you know, an up smash out of shield, or once he's uh, once he texts, 
just yeah. so good. It's just better than everybody else's. And that was actually really nice. That was exactly, I guess. How yeah, he got sick of Boom like fading back and you know missing all the other attacks. That thunder covers a lot. Yeah. And again, he sat there on that platform, took the hit, um, in hopes that he'd be able to get an up smash out of it, but he wasn't able to get an up smash. Finally, Dreamland music. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and that's what Bark likes to do. And he's finally able to get it. Boom kept calling him out on that, on trying that earlier. And still invincible. Oh, I thought oh, he was going to Yeah, yeah that's, <laughs> that's what Boom wants. Oh, and that's, yeah, that's another one. That was a uh, Bark gets baited. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, everyone knows that Pika is going to, like, drop off and try and get that edge guard. So you just kind of bait it out, and boom, perfect timing with the up B. That's hard to do. Is uh, is boom gonna be a, if let's say Bark doesn't try that, is boom still gonna make it back? No, that up B? no. So it's a, it's just completely a read. Right, right. Because really if just... so, if he doesn't do that, he's he's gonna get hit. He's gonna get edge guarded. Right. Um, and if he does do it, maybe he he up B's too yeah, early. Yeah, like so, it's got to be the read on Bark dropping down, trying to hit him. Mm -hmm. Because you're either not rec if Bark doesn't, you don't recover. You used you've used your upbeat. Well, early. and he like Bark had just done that to him the stock before, and it worked. Right. So Boom is expecting him to do it again. Yeah. So he's like, okay, I know what to do this time. So he fades back, uh, gets it upbeat. That can just be so hard to get the upbeat to land because, like everything, the trades with like it's easy to hit the Falcon doing that. Like Pika Nair yeah. just seems to like always hit it. Um, so you really have to have the timing and the spacing just right. And it seemed like he was giving Bark credit that one time, not trying it because he had, he had caught Bark doing it a bunch of times. Mm -hmm. And then when he didn't try it, Bark actually hit him with it. So really, what right. you're seeing is just Boom adapting really fast yeah. to all these things. Bark attempt. Oh, yeah, he didn't for it. I thought he had enough room. Falcon Whoa. kick. Whoa. Great DI, too. He uses that F air to climb himself. Like claws way back to the stage. He just swims through like drills. He goes where he wants. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of like it when Pika shoots forward air. It's one of the easier. And again, oh. you just you bait it, you wait. As soon as you see Pika jump off like that, you just wait. He did it again, but Bark was uh, falling a little bit faster than Boom was there. But he was ready to do the same thing. Oh, wow. And Bark probably down to his last two stocks here. Have they already played two games? Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Woo! If Bark had gone for the ledge, that would have been it. Boom, we got there right before him. Somehow Boom got behind Bark there. Oh. Uh, or Bark got behind Boom. Wow, and that call out with the F smash. It's like he just... He uses such a variety of moves and he just uses them in the right situations. Uh... It's really just a joy to watch him play. He plays so fast. He's all over Bark right now. Oh my god. That low the end. lowest end. No! Oh! <laughs> he almost ended no. with a Falcon Punch. What a way to finish it that would have been. He what gets kind back. Of he beats the Thunder Cheese. Oh, and a Falcon Kick grabs the ledge right away from it. Now that's going to do it. That is and it. Boom will take it. The Keystone champion, Super Boom fan. Did you expect anything else? Nope. Nope. Captain Falcon showing us his grundle there. <laughs> and yeah, really. Like, he really. What a show off, right? <laughs> yeah. Falcon beats you, and then he's just like, boom. He's like, also, I got. My crotch. <laughs> yeah. And this, these muscles, these pixely muscles. <laughs> these pixely muscles. <laughs> I mean, geez, look at those calves. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, the definition on them. Pikachu's just giving him a round of applause back there. Just join the show. <clears throat> Man, and what a, what a tournament. What a tournament for Hammerheart. Oh, wait, I just realized, yeah, if that Falcon Punch had landed, that would have been the, that would have been the last hit. That would have been, like, the yeah. cover art. 
It would have uh. been Falcon Punch. So wait, what was the what was the last hit? It was a Nair, right? Was it a Nair? I don't even know. I think it was a Nair up above like the center platform or something. Yeah, I think so. A Falcon Nair. But Dreamland should be in the picture now because it's not like way off the stage. Two Pikas <laughs> just fighting in in space. In space. <laughs> Pikas in space. <laughs> Oh, man. So, uh, I don't know what we're going to have now. I mean, it's kind of late. We've been here for 12 hours. Since the beginning of time. time we time. have been here for 13 hours. Pika's, Pika's in space. Time continuum. Oh, man. Um, yeah, what a tournament for a lot of people. As we were saying earlier, I mean, just all these Cinderella stories. Uh, from Hammerheart to... It was like, who were the big ones? Hammerheart, KD3. Um, Horby. Horby. Uh, Blood Peach. Oh, Super okay. Boom fan. I, I Congratulations. I Dude, know, man, we, we were like, the that. cover... Did you cancel, uh, suggested by uh, Dexter? Dexter? Yeah. Oh. I, you know, I, I, I flubbed up. Well, uh, we are saying that we if, saw... if you had landed that Falcon Punch, that would have been the new cover art. And we saw you take it would have been of, awesome. We saw you taking a lot of hits, those like that deck like that Dexter video. You took a lot of those uh, uh Boom, up Boom's been doing that for I mean, a while. He's been doing that already anyway, but yeah. Now we're all aware of how to take a hit. Alright, so you're gonna interview him? We're doing interviews, yeah. Alright. All right. Boom interview time. Alright, uh, Dark oh, Horse Nine. Take off my hat, then? Signing Actually, off. And really get some interviews. Boom interview. So, Super Boom fan, champion, Keystone, 2017. We're going to do this yearly. Boom fan, if you were to trace back to your roots to the one thing that got you to where you are today, what would it be? Well, <laughs> first off, you know, being born is a is a good start. Right, your parents? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, you know, when a... Uh, you know, a male and a female, they they get together, and mo most of the time it's in a bedroom, mm. 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 and they do something. Or something happens. Something magical. Yeah, or back of a station wagon that has like yeah. some things in it. Yeah. Right. Right. So, all the training that you've done, that has nothing to do with it. It's pretty much the HGH that you've. Been well, doing. you said the where it started from. Well. That's where it started. The magic uh, happened in the bedroom. Oh, uh, okay. Right, and then that produced something, mm -hmm. which is me. You, right? right? You were the fastest swimmer. Yeah. You were the you were the best then. Too. Yeah. You like, you were winning, at Smash. Well, I smashed the competition. Yeah. yeah. Right. Well, right. You, well, your parents smashed and you won. You were mm -hmm. the fastest swimmer out yeah. of everyone, and it seems that you just keep repeating that theme, over and over again. Oh yeah, Falcon's fast, right? It all makes sense now. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my, does your dad have the same kind of boots? Oh yeah. It's Falcon. Oh. You know, oh. my dad's first character in this game, Captain Falcon. Mr. Boomfan? You talking? Yeah? Yeah, Mr. your dad. Mr. Oh, my, my father, yes. Yeah, Mr. Boomfan. Yeah. Right. So yeah, first got this game, you know, I picked Mario. What a mistake, right? Yeah, but, right. Yeah. And then he comes in, picks captain falcon <laughs> and all he presses is the l button he's like show your moves constantly that's it that's yeah. all you need he, he goes on the saffron helicopter pad and all he does is taunt over and over right and then in real right life here. he's like show me your moves like mm -hmm. constantly mm -hmm. i think he's captain falcon himself and that it gives you does that give you special powers well yeah i get it from him uh -huh. i see yeah i see so to all the ladies out there who aren't watching this stream right now Super Boom fans number is 215-972-6749. You can call him up, text him, Snapchat. He's the champion, so he's going to definitely be looking for a date tonight to go celebrate with. Is that that's what you were saying to Raz earlier? Or was I? Yeah. So if you were if you were to if you were to explain to the viewers at home how they could one day acquire the skills that you've gotten and get to the top of the mountaintop knowing that you've won. 
what would you what, what advice would you give to us scrubs back at home? Back at home. Mm -hmm. The viewers, the viewers back at home. Well, um, yeah. honest advice. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Think about what's hitting you, what works, mm. and what doesn't work, and correct what you can as fast as you can. Mm. And also play in line. Okay. And suck less. Yeah. Raw. Go raw. Oh, always raw. Raw dog you, it. Yeah, you got to raw dog it. Right. Online. Right. And hack a little bit. Oh, too. you can hack, yeah. Yeah. I've been noticing there's a lot of that mm -hmm. going around. Yeah. That's great, man. I mean, I just, I just feel like I'm in the presence of greatness, and I feel like I can one day be great, you know? Thanks to the, what happened back in the station wagon the bedroom yeah right right, right. About 1980. oh they did a, they, they went raw back then even <laughs> oh my god the see yeah. it all comes back to raw mm -hmm. oh my raw's so, the truth so look you go raw okay first off you go raw and then mm -hmm. you meet online and then before you know it you're in a bedroom or a station wagon mm -hmm. with a lamp and a chair in the back maybe some artwork right that got cleared out of a janitorial closet at the local high school and anything else that you need and then you can harness that energy and that power and just make things happen right and something so, magical yeah wow Whew. dude i gotta i gotta just absorb that and just apply that to my place mm -hmm. thank you man just you know thanks for everything that you do for the smash community on the real though thank you man for for coming through we appreciate it all jokes aside um hope you guys enjoyed it back at home uh it's our local event here uh, right in Hatboro, PA. Um, come out and join us sometime. We're going to definitely do this yearly. Uh, try to, you know, really get it hyped. Fly some players out here. It was great to have Boom Fam. We had, uh, talent pool was great, man. What did we have? Like 60 plus people here. It was good. Yeah, man. Uh, Hammerheart, local guy going uh, third place, which oh, is like. Okay. The tournament, a lot of upsets going on. <laughs> there were. That, there were. That was interesting. I enjoyed it, man. It, it's, it's. That's that's just go to show you that there's a lot of talent that's like on the come up, like which is like mm. which is really cool, give you some competition, and it, it I love seeing your uh, set you were playing uh, Blood Peach, that was a, that was a great set I enjoyed that was I really enjoy watching that the uh, DK set yeah oh, yeah that yeah. was that was funny as hell. Uh, <laughs> oh okay Blood Peach she's like oh you you should go DK I'm like oh okay fine well, <laughs> <laughs> you can't not listen to him. <laughs> I mean, uh, why not? <laughs> Great games, though, man. And uh, thanks again for coming out. And um, thanks, everybody at home, for, uh, for checking us out and watching. Um, peace. And, uh, you know, have a good night. Come out and see us. Bye.